Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a sales calendar in Microsoft Excel. So as you are seeing my screen, I have created this dynamic sales calendar in Microsoft Excel. So here you can see we have the different months from Jan till December and we have a drop down for year and here we have a drop down for employees. Then here we have given few color coding. Then we have a checkbox to show the value. I'll tell you about this checkbox. And here we have the days of the peak. And now here you can see for the January month date is starting from Tuesday. So you can see the sale for the selected employee and the color coding is this one. Okay. Now if you want to see the sale amount, you can just click on show values. So immediately it will show the values here. Alright. If you will uncheck this, it will not show the values. If I will select another employee, then you can see it is showing the sale for that particular employee. If you want to see the value, you can click on show value. Similarly, you can change the year. So you can see in the next year, this is the data. This is the data for 2021. And we have the data till August, so you can see the rest of the month are blank. Okay, you can select it for another employee from here. So this is totally dynamic. And friends, I haven't used any kind of VBA coding to do this. It is purely formula based, conditional formatting are there. Alright, so I will explain you how can you create this in Microsoft Excel. It is useful while you are creating some sales dashboard. You can create this page to see the performance of an employee for the entire year in one go. Okay, so easily you can identify the how much are the red and green and color coding also dynamic. For example, if you want to change the range for green. So let's say if I will put here 100 means 0 to 100 will be red and number. And above 100, it will be in green. So you can see we have a lot of greens here. All right. So it's totally dynamic. Now I will show you the data. So here you can see we have a data sheet. In the data, we have date, employee name, and the sales amount. Okay. So we have the data for two, three years by the employee. So let me copy this table and I will add a new workbook. Press Ctrl N and just paste this here. I will rename this as data. So this is our data sheet. Okay. Now I will create the sales calendar here. I will create a support sheet also to take some support. All right. Now from here, first I will take the unique employee name. So I'll copy all the employees and I'll come to the support sheet and I will paste this here. Then I will go to the data and I'll go to the remove duplicate. Click on OK. So here you can see we have the unique employee name. If you want to remove this header, you can remove this header also. So we have only employee names here. Now you can enter the number of years. So we have the data from 2019. So let me input here 2019 and 2020 and then 2021. All right. Come to the sales calendar and we will create here the calendar. I'm starting from Sunday and let's scroll it right. So we have taken 37. All right. Just right click, go to the format sales, go to the alignment and align this to 90 degree. Click on OK. Select all the column and double click. Adjust the column width. All right. Now go to the home, align this center, center. Go to the view and I'll just remove the grid lines from here and let's create some border here then go to the developer and go to the insert and I'll go to the form controls and I will take a drop down list which is the combo box so just drag the combo box here this combo box will be for year make a copy of this and we will create another uh, combo box for the list of employees make it slightly bigger now I'll go to the insert and I will take a text box. Just drag this text box here. So just put the name as this will be year. 
make a copy of this and just put this here and put here just select these two boxes go to the save format save outline as no outline save fill as no fill all right just right click on first combo box go to the format control here in the input range i'll go to the support sheet and i'll give this range for the years then cell link again i'll go to the support sheet and let's take cell link as this i1 click on ok i1 we are taking the input as year so type here year and or you can selected year then we will take selected employee And let's select any year let's say 2019 so we have selected the first year so it is giving here one right click go to the format control let's go to the input range support and we will give this reference and in the cell link go to the support and we will give the selected employee you can change the uh, number of drop down lines let's take 20 here so it will show all employee we have only 10 or 9 employees so it will show all employees in one go if I will select any employee then you can see it is giving here the number now let's take the name of that particular employee and the particular year so I'll use here index function index and the reference I'll give this reference comma row number I'll give this one so it will return the selected year here you can see and to get the selected employee I'll use this time I will take this range column A to A comma I'll give this row number and just hit the enter. So it is giving me the selected employee. All right. Now let's move on to the sales calendar. And here we will use the formula. But before that, let's create here the month name. So I'll use here dynamic month name. Let's use date function date. And the year we will take, go to the support sheet and the selected year we will take from here press f4 to freeze this and then month so we know first month will be 10 so i'm taking here one and the day i'm taking here one so it will return the first january 2019 we can format this so right click go to the format cells then go to the number and here we will go to the custom and the format we will take mmmm okay so it is returning january you can fill some color here taking so this one and this now let's put a formula here to get the dates of this month we know this is the first date of the month so i'll check the day of first day of the month and accordingly we will place the calendar value so i'll use here if and then i will use text and let's take this reference if i press f4 to freeze this comma i'll use here ddd to get the day just close this if this value equal to this reference and here i'll freeze the row number for the dollar sign here okay if it is matching then it will return the first date of the month and press f4 to freeze this and here also we will freeze only column number so just remove the dollar sign before 5 and similarly from here Alright, so if it is matching, then it will return this. Otherwise, we will use here if this value is equal to blank, then we will use blank, else, we will use this value plus one. Alright, just hit the enter. So it is returning blank. Let's copy this and paste the formula. Let's see what it is returning. Alright, so we have pasted here the formula. Let's change the font size make it slightly smaller all right so it is returning the date so let's change the date format it is giving the date correct till here only from the next wednesday it is starting again all right so what we have to do we have to put another condition here the sunday is starting from here the next sunday is coming here so the column number of this sunday is 10 if and let's put here end and we will put two condition first this value is equal to blank so if it is blank and we will use here column function column and column of this cell is less than or equal to 9 okay just close the bracket 
So here we can put else it will take blank and just close the bracket and then hit the enter. Just copy this formula and paste till end. Now let's see what it is returning. So from here it is giving the correct value. Let's see the other values also. So it is giving the correct value now till 31st Jan and it is giving the fab month data also here which is not required. It should return only January month data. So what we can do, we can put another condition here. In place of this B5 plus 1, we will use if EO month, end of the month of, uh, let's take uh, this cell difference from here, the previous cell, comma, 0. This is greater than this B5 plus 1. Then it will return B5 plus 1, else it will return blank. And just hit the enter. Now copy this and paste till end. So here you can see it is returning till 30th Jan only. It is not returning 31st Jan. So what we have to do in place of uh, greater than we have to put the equal to all. So then it will return. So let me put it in the starting. If it is equal to or greater than and just copy and paste till end. Alright. So it's working. So here you can see it is returning dynamically date. If I will select another year, let's say 2019, then it is starting from here. If I will select 2021, then it is starting from here. So now we will change the format of this. So just select this range, right click, go to the format cells. And here we will show only date. So just use here D. Click on OK. It is returning only date. Now you can change the size of the column width. Let's copy this range after one row, paste this here. Alright, so we have pasted it multiple times and here in place of this chain in the month we will take 2 here. Similarly, we will take here 3. Okay, now we have from Jan till December. Now we will get the values here. To get the value, we will use some ifs function. Some ifs. Now the sum range we will take from the data sheet and take the sum range of the sale amount and just press F4 to freeze this. Comma. Criteria range. So let's take the employee name first. So employee name and just freeze this. Press F4. Comma. Go to the support sheet and criteria we will give this selected employee. Just press F4, freeze this comma. The next criteria range we will give this date range. And just press F4 to freeze this comma. And the criteria for the date we will go to the sales calendar and we will give this reference. And just hit the enter. Fill this right, then you can see it is returning the sale amount for the particular employee. If you will see it is returning 0 also wherein date is not there so what we can do here I will use here simple if function if the value of this sum if function is 0 then it will return blank otherwise it will return this formula just hit the enter just copy and paste this formula so it is returning only values all right now we can give some reference for the color coding. So let's use here the color coding. Let's take this box for red. Then next box for amber color. Let's take this color. Next for the green color. Let's take this green. Zero for the red. And let's take 200 for amber. And let's take here uh, 400. Now we can put here the conditional formatting. Just select this range, go to the home, conditional formatting, new. And then uh, select the first one, format all cells based on their value. And here we will use three color scan. Now the first color we will take red, this one. The last color we will take this green color. And the middle color we will take this one. All right. Here in the minimum, let's take number. For the midpoint, let's take number and for the maximum point, let's take number. And for the value, just delete the zero from here and use this arrow to take the reference and we will take the reference from here. Just click and come to the midpoint, delete this zero, click on this arrow 
let's take this reference and come to the maximum point delete this zero and click on this arrow and let's take this reference click on ok so here you can see it is returning the values we can make the font color as white Just click here to make the font color as white okay so here you can see the font color is white by default we can make the font as invisible so to make the font as invisible you can simply right click go to the custom and put thrice semicolon here one two three click on okay so here you can see it is now visible now we can copy this i can paste this here similarly so if i will change the let's say this one but 20 if i will change the employee name then here you can see it is getting changed all right we will put one checkbox to show the values so i'll go to the developer tab insert and then form controls and then let's take this checkbox and just click this here and just rename this show values and come to the support and here we will show the whether the checkbox is selected or not so i'll use here show values and come to the checkbox right click go to the format control go to the cell link and come to the support and just click here click on ok if i will check this then here you can see it is showing true if i will uncheck this then it is showing false so what we can do we can put another conditional formatting here so just select this range and then go to the home and conditional formatting new range and i'll use this time use a formula to determine which cell to format and i'll put the formula this one because it will return always true and false or you can use equal to true also so but there is no use of this so simply put support sheet g just go to format we will take the journal here click on ok click on ok if i will click here then you can see it is showing me the value so what i can do i can copy this or i can just double click on the format painter and just click here click here click here and then click all right so we have made all the cells if i will select then it is showing the value everywhere okay so it is almost done now i'll go to the view and i will remove the headings from here i will select this header and font size little bit smaller then let's take uh, this color font color is white okay you can make the height of this row slightly smaller so right click go to the row height and let's take here uh, 5 click on ok and similarly here so you can press alt enter or f4 to repeat the same action okay we can hide all other rows similarly we can select the other columns from here press ctrl 0 you can fill some light gray color here in the background all right so our sales calendar is ready that is how you can create the sales calendar it is useful you can create it in your sales dashboard i hope you have enjoyed this video friends if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching